was a lot of work on the understanding which are the best temperature of sources that would be required and also find with Jeff and Alexi what was the right and proper balance between architectural lighting, museographical lighting and the proper natural light coming through. So it's this balance to have the feeling that you have an even coat of light and yet you have all the necessary relief that is uh, brought by the museographical light and all this in a, a rather even temperature of colour. The choice has been made at the moment to have a 4000K colour light in the permanent exhibition because it works with the architecture of the space, it works well with daylight, but in the lower light levels and the warmer colours of the surface finishes and everything in the temporary exhibition, a 3000K light works better. So a conscious decision has been made to use those different sources in those different spaces. I think in the future they will have a temporary exhibition where they choose to bring more daylight in, they choose to use cooler coloured light. That's the flexibility we've provided them. So the design had to consider both the needs of a permanent exhibition and the needs of a temporary exhibition space. But for simplicity, and Sana likes simplicity as well, we keep a similar system in both so that the spaces have a similar feel to them as well. The capacity of choosing a temperature, deeming it, lowering the powers, lowering the temperature, which was a very big issue because of the amount of heat that was raised at very, very close level of the glass panels and the outside. LED seemed obvious. Very exciting was to convince the curators, the restorators, the conservator uh, of the Louvre Paris that the rendering of colors were satisfying, if not better, actually, if not better, uh, that the result was extremely satisfying and that it was most relevant and that one could not go for metal hides or algae in such a museum.